So why do we offer this and perform this service? It's really the main thing is to free up resources and, and increase capability of other of uh, organizations so they can pretty much spend more time um, with increased opportunities for sport and physical activities. Um, how do we do it? We've got a wide range of commercial, not-for-profit and sports sector experience. And we use Xero and other cloud-based software applications to, to do, help up with the freeing up of back office stuff. So some examples of what we do. I won't go through everything. Um, obviously, day-to-day -day transactional processing, um, we can help with that. Um, we also can help with um, the more advanced stuff as far as monthly management reporting and board reporting, annual accounts, budgeting and forecasting, which is becoming increasingly important, project work as well. Um, and that could be involving zero installations or connecting a zero add-on onto zero. And also helping train anybody that might be doing it as a volunteer or as a, a staff member. And we can do that either at your premises, but more than likely at ours or from our home offices. So we provide some expertise across a range of services. We have um, some very experienced payroll people, um, people like Craig, who's very experienced in the technological side of um, Xero and its add-ons. Um, we also provide um, approved training employer status for Chartered Accountants Australia New Zealand. So we can have people that come into our organisation as assistant accountants who are out there working, in the, working with us that uh, can be mentored. And I'm uh, the person that looks after that program and eventually they become chartered accountants. Unfortunately, half the time they leave after they get become chartered accountants, proper part down, proper chartered accountants. So these services we provide can be affordably priced and we tailor them to each organisation that we come across. Okay, um, we've been around since 2013. I've been working for Active since 2014. I think I'm probably the second or third longest serving person in, in the organization now. We provide cost effective accounting services for not just sport and recreation, but other not for profits. We're, again, just repeating um, what I said earlier that our services are designed to free up other organization resources and to let them get on with doing the things that make more difference in the community. Okay, so obviously for cost, we help reduce the cost of administration. Um, we reduce the uh, risk of um, that they might, might be facing as far as financial. Um, there's always some independence by constantly checking for any anomalies and, and fraud. We free up your staff to get on with your real mission. We reduce staff costs and we also provide a 52-week year yearly service. So um, obviously we can scale up and scale down as well, depending on what you want. So I might be repeating myself a bit here, but as far as the accounting services we provide, um, they're all listed there. Also some more expertise in the budgeting and forecasting area. Um, project manager man management, e.g. installation of Xero or iPayroll, um, which is a plug-in. Um, Xero has its own um, payroll system as well, probably suited to organisations of six employees and under. Um, we don't re usually recommend anything other than Xero because that's where we have um, our expertise. And our opinion is that it's probably the best product to be used in, in the not-for-profit sector. Uh, the automated board reporting, which is quite important. Um, we go for um, less is more with dashboard reporting and it can be tailored to each organisation. 
Uh, so within zero, we can set up more automated reporting, reporting and that populates from your general ledger balances. Um, in some cases, we can also, depending on the size of the organization, we can set up separate cost centers and um, also sub cost centers, which become quite useful in working out how much each area operations is costing or making. And the sub trackers can also be used for reporting on grants, which is what um, Mark actually referred to in some of his slides as well. Quite useful when you're wanting to record the, the amount of expenditure you've spent on a grant and capture it quite easily. Uh, accounting for non-accountants, um, we provide a, a presentation that explains the difference between a profit and loss and a bank and a balance sheet. Um, we also go into more detail about cash versus accrual accounting. And we try and tailor it so when we're doing the explanations, we look at the sort of zero reports that are available that mirror those different um, um, things like profit and loss, p &L, and also reporting on variances and how to work out what the variance might be. Zero tips and tricks. Um, zero is always coming up with some um, some really good shortcuts about how to get the best out of it and speed things up. Um, most people that use zero find it quite um, quite easy to learn and quite intuitive. Um, in that training, we also have looked at just recently um, e-invoicing. The government has a, a big push at the moment on e-invoicing, which means you have one system talk to another, so it does away with paper and emails and that sort of thing. They have quite ambitious targets as to what they want to um, achieve with that. It doesn't matter whether the other system is my MYOB or another system, it can be set up quite easily. Invoice approval workflow. Um, this is probably not necessarily uh, too pertinent for smaller organizations but it is where they might have a, a number of people doing approvals for different expenses. Um, it could be run through an approval process and people get an email or they just go straight to approval max and do their approvals and that talks then to zero um, and it, and it um, smooths that process out quite a bit. Uh, so just looking at our client base, so you can see who we, we um, we actually do work for at the moment. Um, the NSOs, um, regional sports organisations and local organisations. Craig and myself work um, mainly with, um, I'll go back one slide, sorry, with Women in Sport, sport Aotearoa, um, New Zealand Rugby League, uh, Sport Northland and Northern Regional Football. We do a lot of BAU with a, a number of those, but we also have been doing project work with them as well. So I'll just go on to a little bit about what our clients have said they've done, we've done for them and how much they love us or, or not. So we've been working with New Zealand Rugby League since 2019 um, with their main organisation in their seven zones. And, and at the very beginning, we converted them from I think it was like a server-based um, system onto Zero and iPayroll. And we continue to add on different um, add-ons for that to try and make things easier for everybody concerned. Um, Sport Auckland, we did something similar there. Um, we've been working with them since April 21. They have around about 70 staff. I think that's the right number. Craig can tell me if I'm wrong. They, to start with, they had something like 70 cost centres. Centers. Um, we brought that down to uh, under half that. Um, we didn't see a need for them to have so many cost centres where they had the ability to use additional tracking by using that sub-tracker I talked about earlier. Um, and finally, Auckland Rugby League. Um, Again, they had a new system. They were moving from MYOB to zero. 
and um, that's what they said that they about us. They it was quite a difficult situation getting through. There's a whole lot of new staff involved, new manage uh, new management, and we were able to um, do the job for them.